impressive. Quite large. All right, I am sitting here with Lisa Drake. She is the Director of Sustainability Innovation at Stony Field uh, Organic Yogurt Facility. So, uh, Lisa's just going to talk a little bit about the um, the initiative, the science-based target initiative that Stonyfield has um, put into place as a goal. Um, she's going to speak to that and she's going to talk about the business end of that and how that affects Stonyfield's business specifically. So, go ahead, Lisa. Yeah. Well, um, welcome to London Dairy and Thanks, Stonyfield. Jim. and. Um, so yeah, so um, science-based targets is a new way that businesses are um, seriously approaching their impact on climate change. And so Stonyfield has been working on our environmental impacts for a very long time. I've been here personally for 17 years at Stonyfield and my role has always been about how, to, how can the company do better to deliver on our mission and specifically our environment, reduce our environmental impacts and be a better environmental steward as a business. And um, so this is um, really, everything we've done up to date, we're really proud of. We've done a lot of work. We use data to really drive decision-making of how we innovate and change and improve our product, improve our packaging, improve how we do things. Uh, but the climate change is, something that we take very seriously and I think the information has been clearer and clearer that the urgency to act is greater than ever and as a business we take that seriously and so we said what do we need to do as a business to really contribute to climate change what's our responsibility what does the science say we need to do and so the science-based targets initiative um, is something that we look to because they are using science to develop models that business can businesses can follow to say what do you need to deliver as a business to address climate change and so where we've landed is that we've made a commitment to reduce uh, the greenhouse gas emissions from our operation and supply chain by 30 percent by the year 2030 and um, so this is not an easy task or something that our business takes lightly but it's something we feel that even if, though we don't know today necessarily exactly how we're going to achieve it that we know we have a lot of work to do mm -hmm. and a lot of opportunities to improve and that we're going to take on all of those to meet this goal that is really encouraging really um, amazing um, the funding for this stonyfield is paying a lot of money to this in their um, collaborating with several other, you, you know, USDA group. Um, and it, from what you told me, it's going to be $10 million of funding. Um, and the project is going to be, this money is going to be used over three years. What is Stonyfield contributing to that uh, $10 million? Yeah, so that's, this is, uh, the $10 million is specifically for the Open Team project, which okay. is going to help um, develop tools for farmers to use to be able to measure and record um, carbon in their soils and use that as a decision-making tool for how can they change their practices, how can they change the way they're managing their land, that the, the crops that they're planting, and how they're managing their soil um, so that they can see change over time and that they can contribute to being a solution for climate change by literally taking carbon out of the atmosphere using plants to put it into the soil, like through the root system and building soil health. And so the benefit there for the farmers is that they're building stronger soils or building soils that can um, bring better nutrients into the food that, and the crops that they're growing. They can be more resilient to drought and have um, a better healthy soil environment that will sustain them through different kinds of weather conditions. Um, so that's a, this is one piece of the work that we're doing to achieve this 30 by 30 goal. It's a really important one. It's one that um, we have committed $250,000 towards a total project with a number of other partners, mm -hmm. including foundations, um, to, to come up to the $10 million to support getting this 
technology platform off the ground and out into use by hundreds of farmers and eventually it will be available to any farmer around the world. And that's an important piece of it. And we, um, but it's not the only thing in that, you know, back really here at home, we're gonna continue to work on how energy efficient we can be in our operation here in our manufacturing plant. Um, we're looking at the carbon footprint of all the packaging that we use, the plastics and the cardboards and uh, foils and how, how we get the product from our plant to the refrigerators of um, the consumers eating our product. And um, so there's opportunities to use more recycled content plas plastics or um, certainly recycled content cardboards that are the case boxes that our product travels in. Um, we can use bio-based plastics uh, we have one product line that's been using bio-based plastic, a plastic made from plants, or it's really yeah. made from corn. Yeah. We've been doing that since 2010, and so there's more opportunity for that. Um, we, we work on the logistics of our trucks and how can we deliver product to stores more efficiently. Um, so a lot of these things are really about being more efficient, and so they're also cost drivers in the business and can um, save us money that we can help create more profit for the business or reinvest it into um, new projects. You know, we're also looking to con convert to renewable energy, and um, so there's a lot of, uh, including and then on our farms. How can we help our farms be on renewable energy? So there's a lot of opportunities, and um, many of them are cost-saving measures, and some of them are investments that do have um, paybacks over time. But um, we're really excited about all of this work making us a better business and certainly with the soil carbon work i'm working closely with farmers and helping their businesses be stronger as well that's wonderful thank you so much lisa for taking the time to talk to me and i really appreciate it you're welcome all right